Hi everybody, it's Danny here from Angel Handmade Papercraft. Today I am working with Whimsy Stamps. This is one of the Sassy Cheryl digital stamps and this is a lazy afternoon. I thought it was a super cute image to colour up. I've got it super sped up for you guys today. I know I've been doing a lot of um, more slower colouring videos so I've got this one super sped up. So as I said, I'm colouring her up using Copic markers. I've got her printed onto some Expressive blending card. That's my go-to when it comes to colouring with Copic markers. Always works for me. I get no bleeding and I'm super happy with it. So here she is coloured up her skin and we're now going to move on to her little bow in her hair. I do apologise my video camera battery ran out as I was colouring in her little lifesaver there going through colouring up all of her hair and fixing up the skin. I like to add details in using my white gel pen and a wink of Stella. So here she is all coloured up and gorgeous. And here is a quick picture of when I had finished the skin and her complete. So I'm going to run her through my Sizzix Big Shot using a circle die. So I always try, when I'm doing ones like this, I always make sure that I tape the die down with washi tape. The last thing you want after colouring an image up is that die moving when you're running it through. I've got some digital papers here printed from Whimsy Stamps and Dino Friends papers. They just had the right blues and yellows that I was after. So it was a super cute set to be able to use. And I love that you can do that. You know, these papers to do with dinosaurs, but these spots are gorgeous for other things. I ran some of that pattern paper through using a stitched square die. I wanted to keep all of that stitching all nice and matchy matchy. This sentiment is from the Everyday Banner set. And I'm also going to trim one down from the Birthday Wishes scent. So lots of digital products on my card today. And I'm using some of those leftover scrap pieces from the digital paper. And I'm trimming them down to create some banners. And I've also got some leftover white from doing the circle. So trimming everything down. I like to have a play before I started hearing everything of exactly where I want to put it before I glue anything down. Going in with my Helmar liquid adhesive. This is the Acid Free. I know I always say it, but when you're using liquid adhesives, it's always less is more. So you don't need to use a lot of liquid adhesive. Adhering everything down, the blue cardstock is just from American Crafts. And I'm going to adhere everything down to a Kucha Creations card base. I will have all of the products that I've used linked below the video and I do decorate the inside of the card to match as well so I'll show you some photos of that. Super happy with the way that it turned out and as I said adding some little white bits and pieces in using a white gel pen just finishes that image off. So super happy with the way it turned out and I hope to see you all soon. Bye!